Oh hi, I'm Drew Lee and welcome to my channel Amp Drew Lee. In this video I am going to be giving you a cheeky update on what's been going on with me and my stump Janice since I've had half of the staples taken out. So it's been a bit of a weird week. Um, my sleep has been not great and the only way at the moment that I have been able to sleep is exhaust myself where my eyes are like and then I can fall asleep. And then once I'm asleep, I'm like a log. You know, you could have a bloody lorry crash into the flat. I'd still be asleep. That's mainly because of the phantom limb pain that has been going on. Now, I call this phantom feel. So if you ever see like posts or comments or anything like that, well, I'm like, phantom feel is coming to haunt Janice. You know what I'm on about. So for those of you that don't know what phantom limb pain is. It is basically once you've had the limb amputated, you are getting sensations, which can be just a sensation, or it could also be pain or just discomfort of those limbs that have been removed. So for me, I'm getting phantom limb pain slash discomfort in the foot on the left side because the left side's been removed. So it's because the nerves that have been cut off, nerves do take a very, very long time to regenerate, reheal, get working again. They can take from days to months to years. It all depends on the individual, all depends on the state of the nerve. Um, and that also goes for any other injuries with damage or things like that, all depends. Nerves come from all different shapes and sizes. Um, the largest could be the size of mincemeat and the smallest you cannot see, you know, with the naked eye, you'd need a telescope. So basically I am getting phantom limb pain and that does happen pretty much all day. And it's the foot. So at the very beginning after the amputation, while I was in hospital, I was getting phantom feel in the area where I had the bone infection. And um, that didn't surprise me to be honest. But then that subsided after a few days and now it's just the foot. Now, the reason why I'm thinking it's just the foot is because for the most part in that foot, the nerves were working perfectly fine. The lower leg basically was done for. It was just, just done. And there is a part of the foot that I did get nerve damage from an operation. And that part, I'm not getting any phantom feel. Everywhere else I am. So I find that quite interesting. Yes, I do, you know, have techniques where I just, you know, I close my eyes, I centre myself and I focus on different parts of the body and, you know, all that jazz. That does help, but I can't be doing that all day. I ain't got time for it. How am I going to make myself a cup of coffee? How am I going to have a vape? I'm going to be sitting, I'm not going to be sitting like, um, can't do it. So, yeah, that's the only thing that's been annoying. Um but it's mainly annoying when I'm trying to go to bed. If I am focused and doing things around the house, then yes, I do feel it, but it doesn't necessarily bother me. It's mainly when I'm in bed and I'm obviously relaxing and trying to go to bed. That's when it likes to kick off. I don't know, it's because I'm thinking about it. And obviously when you think about things, things heighten. Um, and then, Jazzy Janice, I mean, I end up, the limbs and the nerves in the limbs, they end up doing, you know, all of this, giving a bit of tambourine. So it does get a little bit annoying, but to be fair, it's been three weeks today since I've had the surgery. All in all, I really can't complain. Um, no swelling, no bollocks. So. I'll show you now, um, just after I woke up from a nap today, um, what Janice does do. Um, to one kind of deter phantom feel and also just how the limb reacts. I know, I know I look miserable in that little clip there. Literally, I just woke up from um, a nap, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, I've got a face like a melty candle there. I mean, I showed my parents, my mum, and I was like, look, 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 Janice is doing Lord of the Dance. And then she called me up, she's like, you're right, you look really depressed. And I was like, absolutely fine. So, yeah. 
I'm also going to show you a cheeky picture or video now of the stump with half of the staples removed. Here you are. As mentioned in my previous video, they only take half of the staples out, so there's no, um, there's no, I can't even think of the word. Let me start that all over again. The reason why they take half of the staples out is so there's a much smaller chance of that wound opening up. They want to just do it bit by bit by bit. It's absolutely fine. I have been checking it, making sure everything's okay. Um, there's nothing touch wood going on and everything looks healthy, clean, fine. But yeah, next Monday I'm having the rest of the staples taken out. That's very exciting because when I put the Juzo sock, this sock, so when I have those staples out, it's going to be so much more comfortable because when I do put that sock on, it's just uncomfortable, it's just like horrible, like it just feels like you want to really pluck it out. And that's another thing, the hairs on my leg, like where they've shaved the leg to do the operation and also where I've got the judo sock and it's compressing, the hairs are like stuck to the skin like that and where I've been sweating as well from the pain medicine, like the oxycodone, opioids, you do sweat. So I've also been plucking and getting all those hairs out, which is such a nice relief, such a nice feeling. Um, other than that, I can still get around the flat. I can still do my everyday things. No backwards whatsoever. Now, when I spoke to the surgeon, she did say um, that the TMR technique that they did, which was to minimize phantom feel, that does take a bit of time to kick in. Obviously, like I mentioned previously, it can take quite a while for the nerves to actually like wake up and do what they do. The TMR technique, they basically sewed the exposed nerves that um, once the leg was cut off, the exposed nerves, they sewed it back into existing nerves, back into the thigh. So when they do grow back in, it just goes, the sensation is going back into the thigh. So that should minimize it. Eventually when time goes on, this phantom feel, you'll go on holiday. That doesn't mean to say that it will still be there. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting day by day, you know, for the nerves and everything to kick in and do their thing. Um, but other than that, if phantom feel is the main thing that I'm going to be complaining about, then I'm extremely lucky and I'm extremely fortunate. Um, the only other thing is I just get a bit tired because I can't sleep when phantom feels doing his thing. But that's nothing compared to what I was dealing with before. I'm very happy with what's, you know, what the progress is. I'm still happy with the decision. Um, in the new year, should hopefully be thinking about aesthetic. I will do a video update, of course, once I see my surgeon on Monday to take the remaining staples out. And yeah, I just wanted to relay um, just a little bit of the update on Phantom Phil. It can be a bit of an annoyance, but as I say, can't, can't really mind. At the end of this video, I am now going to actually show you the snow journey that I've been having backwards and forwards to the Queen Vic. I said I was going to do it in the last video and then I didn't and then I was just too excited to upload it, the video. So I'm going to show you now just a little bit of the scenes that I, would, I drive through, they're like country, country roads with the trees all over each other. Oh, was, for me, it was just so nice to, to see. And um, yeah, thank you for listening to me uh, moaning about Phantom Phil and I will speak to you soon. All the best. Mm -hmm.